this um, live session on a topic regional studies and its benefits. We'll have it in two segments. In segment one, I'll present on the different courses, their benefits in the regional areas and study in the regional area benefits, followed by a Q&A session where you guys can join us, ask questions. You can leave your questions in the comment section below. Alternatively, you can call us in the given numbers below. You can also email us with your questions. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let me share my screen. I'll present your um, PPT. <clears throat> All right, so regional courses, scholarships and study benefits is our today's topic. And the presenter is me, Farhana Hawk. So um, first of all, what is regional area? Regional areas are the locations of Australia outside major cities, definitely except Melbourne, Sydney, and Brisbane. Eligible regional areas. Um, so every region, like all the regional areas are categorized in three different, sorry, yeah, three different category. Category one is major cities of Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane which do not receive any regional incentives, which means if someone is studying in major cities of Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane, they don't get any regional benefits. Category two, cities and major regional centers of Perth, Adelaide, Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, Canberra, Newcastle, Lake Macquarie, Wollongong, Illawarra, Geelong, and Hobart. If someone is studying here, they will definitely get regional benefits that I will go through in my next slides. Category three, regional centers and other regional areas. Benefits, um, yeah, sorry. Benefits of studying in the regional areas. So definitely it's lower cost of living than capital cities. Lifestyle and culture, opportunity to discover other parts of Australia, relaxing laid back lifestyle and students will get extra five points per PR. Also, by studying in the regional area, students could also be eligible for extended post-study work visa for minimum three to four years postgraduate visa they can get. They will also get 15,000 um, destination scholarships on top of generous scholarships from the regional universities. International graduates who will be studying in the regional areas, they can get temporary graduate visa who have graduated from a regional um, educational institution and have lived in that regional Australia on their first temporary graduate visa are eligible for a second graduate visa. Also those eligible for a second um, temporary graduate visa required to remain in a regional area for the duration of their new visa, which means if someone got a temporary graduate visa from a regional area and while applying for a second temporary graduate visa, they need to make sure during their first TGV, they were living in that regional area and then they can apply for the second one. Eligibility also includes international students who studied at a regional campus of a metropolitan university. For example, <clears throat> um, Charles Sturt University or um, um, you know, University of uh, Bolongo for, for studying their regional campus, they can get that benefit, regional campus benefit. International graduates who have studied and lived in category two may be eligible for an additional one additional year on a second temporary graduate visa and international students who have studied and lived in category three may be eligible for an additional two years on a second temporary graduate visa, which means um, students studying from and living in their first TGV in a regional, um, camp, a regional location category two, they will be eligible for one additional year of TGV and people living and studying in um, category three regional areas will be eligible for additional two years of TGV. <clears throat> What are the most popular courses in the regional area? Definitely nursing is one of the most popular courses. Apart from that, it's social work, teaching, information technology, engineering, along with trade courses like automotive, commercial cookery, wall and floor tiling, brick laying, block laying. So one of the major um, you know, uh, regional states are Victoria and the major regional areas of Victoria are Bendigo, Ballarat, Geelong, Shepparton. 
why it's, you know, uh, regional areas are better because definitely most affordable living compared to a major city of Melbourne, definitely living in a regional area will be, will have lower living costs and affordable expenses. <laughs> Larger campuses of different universities, unique course options from different universities and definitely visa, visa incentives. In regional Victoria, nursing, social work, teaching, hairdressing, beauty therapy is one of the most popular is the most popular courses, along with trade courses like commercial cookery, automotive, and painting. In regional Victoria, these are the most um, you know major providers with their um, scholarships. Federation University is one of the uh, most popular universities in Australia, which is located in Ballarat and also falls under category three. Um, they have scholarships of global innovator scholarships of 20%, global excellence scholarships of 25%. Then La Trobe University, Deakin University, these are in Bendigo, Geelong, Kangan Institute located in Bendigo, which is a category three, and also La Trobe University is in category three. Veritas Institute Australia, um, which is in Geelong, the Center of Excellence in Geelong, and Everest Institute is located in Shepparton, which is also a Category 3. Now, um, it's about New South Wales. So definitely, New South Wales has the largest, most diverse regional economy in Australia. The major regional areas of New South Wales are Albury, Wagga Wagga, Bathurst, Lismore, Coffs Harbour, and Wollongong. Regional areas has definitely lower living cost compared to Sydney, and it's very popular for its national parks and spectacular coastlines. The most popular courses in regional NSW are nursing, social work, teaching, community services, information technology, engineering, trade courses like commercial cookery, automotive, painting, wall, and flooring tiling with brick lane regional NSW, the major providers and their scholarships. Charles State University, they have their campus in Albury, Bathurst, Wagga Wagga, Dubbo, Orange, Port Macquarie, where, and then they have scholarships, international student support scholarships up to 20% 20 20 for the duration of whole program, including nursing. So it's good news for nursing students. Then Southern Cross University, they have their campus in Lismore, Coffs Harbour, which falls under category three. So if someone is studying in those uh, universities, definitely will get benefits for studying in category three regional areas. Southern Cross University is offering $5,000 regional scholarship available for first year of all courses, including nursing. Then TAFE NSW, they have their campus in North Coast, Hunter and Central Coast. Area in New England, Bathurst, Dubbo, Illawarra, Riverina. They have $2,000 early bud scholarships for their vocational studies and 25% scholarship for their higher education. And the University of Wollongong has their Vet College, which is the University of Wollongong College, also um, has their um, own scholarships available. Vet providers, there are a um, few, there are few, like few vet providers in NSW Regional now. Pretty soon there will be more among these few are Duke College, which is located in Richmond, Macallan College, New Era, Trinity, all these four are some sort of located in the Hawkesbury area, Richmond or Windsor. Then Peach Institute, which is located in the Tweed Heads, Actors College of Theater and Television, which is located in Wollongo. AHSI is located in Lismer, NSW. These are the major um, higher education providers in NSW Regional, which is University of Bolongo, University of New England, University of Newcastle, Charles Sturt University, Southern Cross University. <laughs> I'm gonna talk a bit about um, Charles Sturt University's nursing because I know how nursing is very popular in the market and how um, students are, you know, they're eager to study this course. Charles State University is offering um, Bachelor of Nursing in their Albury, Wodonga, Wagga Wagga, Bathurst, and Port Macquarie campus, but only for Feb intake, which already has passed. And in Bathurst campus, they're offering for July intake, which is T2 July intake, and they still have few seats left. So if someone really wants to study nursing, please contact us soon. 
their um, tuition fees are overall $88,176 before scholarship, but they're offering 20% scholarships with that. Um, the you know, tuition fees will be um, altogether $70,540 and $23,513 per year. So a student can save on scholarships um, approximately $17,635. Mm -hmm. CSU minimum deposit for COE is $3,000 and $152 as student services and amenities fee. Entry requirements for any other, you know, it's like any other bad nursing courses, definitely a 12 or equivalent, IELTS or IELTS 7 or PTE 65. CSU will accept two sittings of IELTS or PT in six months. If someone has um, two sittings and together, if they're you know getting individually seven or sixty-five each, and if it's in last six months, within six months, it should be okay. CSU will accept it. Other programs in Charles Sturt universities are undergraduate and postgraduate courses, including Bachelor of IT. Um, they have space, um, specialization in cybersecurity, network engineering, software, and application development and web, web development. They have 20% scholarship for the whole duration of these courses as well. <clears throat> then, Wollongong University's Bachelor of Nursing is another popular course. There, um, you know, the location is in their Wollongong campus. Unfortunately, the intake is only Feb intake. So, if someone wants to go to Wollongong University, um, maybe we can proceed it for next year Feb intake. Their tuition fees altogether is ninety one thousand two hundred ninety six dollars, and per year thirty thousand four hundred thirty two dollars. Scholarships, they are not offering anything at the moment for Bachelor of Nursing. And requirements are same, year 12 equivalent, IELTS 7 overall and individual, same for PTE, 65 overall and individual. Other programs for in University of Wollongong are Bachelor of IT, Bachelor of Social Work, Master of Social Work Qualifying, Master of Teaching, Primary and Secondary Education. Wollongong University's um, Bachelor of Social Work, which is a four years long course. The re entry requirements are year 12 and um, year 12 or equivalent and IELTS minimum seven required. Their tuition fees for the whole course is um, approximately um, one lakh dollars. Um, and then these are the record check. I'm not going to go through all these. This um, slide will be here. You, uh, it will be recorded. You guys can always, you know, um, um, go through these slides later on. They need record check and there are some um, criminal record check that you have to maintain before starting this course. And also um, this course is accredited. Uh, then Bolongong University's Master of Social Work qualifying applicant. Um, so it's Master of Social Work requires a cognate background with minimum a bachelor degree in social sciences, psychology, public health, education, nursing, or a related undergraduate qualification with at least one year of social science um, content. For example, studies of the individual and society. Their English requirements is IELTS 7, tuition fees, in, uh, according to 2022 tuition fees, it's 63,264 for the whole duration. Master of Social Work studies also uh, need record checks similar as their Bachelor of Social Work and the course is fully accredited. And Wollongong University is accepting $5,000 minimum deposit for issuing a COE. <laughs> These are, um, are basically, um, you know, popular higher education courses in the region in NSW. So it's University of Wollongong. They have Bachelor of Nursing, which is two years course, um, only Feb intake, Charles Sturt University. They're, they also have, like, apart from their Bachelor of Nursing, they have Bachelor of Social Work, which is a four years long course. And they have February and July intake available in location of Dubbo, Port Macquarie and Wagga Wagga. University of Wollongong, they have their Masters of IT major in Information System Development for the session of um, for the session of um, February and July, and it's um, pro, you know it's based in Wollongong campus. The University of New England is another most popular university for their nursing course. Apart from nursing, they also have Master of Teaching Secondary Studies for um, you know February, June, and October intake offering in their Armidan campus. University of New England also has Master of Social Work, Professional Qualifying, 
for their Feb and June intake, and it's um, offered in our middle campus as well. And their tuition fee is quite affordable, if you can see in the slides, it's only 29,344 annually. Then Charles State University, they are also offering um, different a master's degree in their Dubbo, Port Macron, Wagga Wagga campus. To know more, you can always contact us. University of Newcastle, um, they have Master of Professional, Uni um, Professional Engineering in Civil, which is a three years long course. They're offering it in Feb and July intake, and it's based in Newcastle campus. <laughs> These are the VET course providers in Ed Regional NSW. First one, Tariff NSW, they have, apart from nursing, they also have different um, courses like commercial cookery, um, other um, you know, trade courses and business courses and their childhood courses in the regional area for international students. Then University of Wollongong College, Actors College of Theater and Television, which is in Wollongong as well. Duke College in Richmond, Peach Institute is in category three, which is in tweed heads. Um, I will also talk about talk a bit about this TAFE and SW Diploma of Nursing because of nursing courses popularity in the market. Um, Diploma of Nursing in TAFE and SW, their tuition fee is basically $24,130 for a duration of one and a half years, but they will give $2,000 scholarship and then it will reduce down to $22,130, which in my opinion is the cheapest in the market. Locations um, in the regional area, it's in Bathurst and Newcastle. Unfortunately, all of the regional campuses are full for 2022 intakes. Um, their entry requirements are pretty simple. Um, year 12 or equivalent, um, IELTS Academic 7, individual and overall, or PT 65, overall and individual. They will also take two sittings in the six months duration. Apart from these entry requirements uh, for nursing courses, there is another additional requirement, which is numeracy skills. All students will need to complete a basic key skills builder, which is called BKSP assessment and achieve a competency of at least exit level three in the Australian core skills framework. KFNSW Diploma of Nursing, they offer 400 hours of work placement, uh, which is called Professional Experience Placement, PEP. Um, and then there are other you know, requirements to before these placements, which is mentioned in this slide, like um, you have to be um, older than 18 years, have hold a valid Australian working with children check, had a valid police check, hold an Australian national police uh, record check, meet immunization requirements. Um, so these are the information. You can also get in NSW Ministry of Health. Uh, if anyone is interested to know about these, you can always go for this NSW Ministry of Health um, website and check for these informations. This is just a scenario of TAFE NSW Diploma of Nursing seat availability. Unfortunately, as you can see, all the um, regional campuses are full, but if someone really wants to study um, Diploma of Nursing in TAFE, you can always go for their Sydney campuses. They have campuses in Altimore, Rand, um, Randwick, Weatherhill Park, and Castle Hill, and Kingswood as well. <coughs> These are the popular courses offered by, by VET providers in NSW Regional. TAFE NSW, definitely apart from Diploma of Nursing, they also offer Diploma of Community Service, which is a one year long course. It's, um, they offer it in February and July intake, located in Bulongong. They have Diploma of Early Childhood Education and Care, which is a one and a half years long degree offered in Feb and July intake in Urimba and Bulongong campus. Dave NSW, like nursing, already I explained it. Certificate, they also have commercial cookery studies. They have certificate three and certificate four in commercial cookery studies, uh, 52 weeks each. They're offering it in Feb and July intakes in their Wemba, Wollongong and Hamilton campuses. Then University of Wollongong College, they have Diploma of Nursing as well for 78 weeks. They have February and July intake available. Their tuition fee is $27,180 and it's located in Wollongong. 
Actors College of Training and Television. So if they have automotive courses and we all know how popular these courses nowadays are. So it's um, certificate three in light vehicle and mechanical technology. It's a, um, almost one and a half years long course. It has multiple intakes. Their campus located in Bolongong and their tuition fee is around 15,000 plus $2,000 material fees for certificate three. And then they have graduate diploma of management, which is for 52 weeks as well. <laughs> These are, um, you know, the continuation of popular courses offered by vet providers. Uh, Duke College is one of them. They have different courses like certificate in brick playing, wall and floor tiling, diploma of building construction, certificate for. <clears throat> I want to talk about um, a bit about this, you know, building and construction courses. You know how construction industry is booming, and having a college in a regional area for these kind of courses, I think it can be a very good opportunity for international students who wants to build their career in this field and wants to get something, some some migration benefits out of this course. It can be a very good opportunity for those students. Apart from that, Duke College has also Certificate 4 in Commercial Cookery, which is a one and a half years long course located in Richmond as well. Then Peach Institute, which is, uh, which is located in level three, category three of uh, regional areas. They have, commercial, they have commercial cookery studies along with painting, decorating, and diploma, graduate diploma of management. So definitely to get category three regional area benefits, definitely these, call it, these, these can be a good option as well. Now, the, uh, the third one is Tasmania. The good thing is the entire state is a regional area. And definitely it's for someone who enjoys the great outdoors, don't mind the cold and are budget conscious. Tasmania can be a place for those kind of people. And then people who loves outdoor activities like hiking, cycling, uh, fishing, kayaking, rock climbing. I personally love it a lot. So if so, like whoever loves these kind of activities, Tasmania is the place for you. And there will be other benefits as well. So these are the courses for international students, which is very popular in Tasmania, including nursing, social work, laboratory medicine, uh, community services, horticulture, trade courses, including commercial cookery, automotive building and construction. We all know about social work, nursing, um, you know, community service, commercial cookery, but this laboratory medicine and uh, horticulture course is a very niche market but very important in terms of migration, especially in Tasmania. If someone really wants to go there and study these kind of courses, you can always reach out to our um, experienced education counselor and they will be able to guide you through. <clears throat> these are the major providers with their scholarships in Tasmania. The def definitely the first one would be University of Tasmania. They have um, Tasmanian international scholarships of 25%. Then there is also another higher education provider, which is Top Education, which is located in Hobart. The state has their multiple campuses, including Hobart, Launceston, Newnham, Ivern May, and Warrene. Then Technical Institute of Victoria, Orange Instant International College, Vocational Training Institute, Australia Institute of Business and Technology, Australian Severian College, and Reach Community College. All these colleges has different courses in different um, in the fields. So um, with their you know, um, available promotional offers and very affordable for international students. <laughs> then it's um, Australian capital, um, Australian capital city, sorry. Yeah, Australian capital territory, which is um, Canberra. The good thing, entire state is a regional area. Canberra, definitely the national capital of Australia. It is very popular for its attractions, festivals, and events. It's very well connected with other world, affordable compared to other big cities and safest city. The most popular courses in uh, Canberra is actually nursing, teaching, information technology, community service, leadership and management, business, trade courses is definitely there, commercial cookery, painting, building and construction, and carpentry. Major providers and scholarships in SCT. Definitely University of Canberra is there. They have international course merit scholarship of 25%. International High Achiever Scholarship of 20%. So um, if someone wants to study in University of Canberra, they can also avail these two scholarships. 
Then there is Canberra Institute of Technology, CIT. They have nursing courses as well, Diploma of Nursing. So anyone who's looking for Diploma of Nursing courses for July or October intake this year, they can always uh, consider CIT for that in Canberra. Then Crown Institute of Business and Technology, they have 10% of COVID discount. Capital College, which is a, which is, um, Capital College has one thousand dollar free location scholarships for international students on top of their promotional prize. Um, then Canberra Business and Technology College, which is, which falls under category two of regional areas, Unity College and Key to Learning College, has also seat for Diploma of Nursing October twenty twenty two intakes. Then South Australia, Adelaide, like I think everyone loves South Australia nowadays. Um, in South Australia, the major regional areas are Adelaide, Barossa, and Kangaroo Islands. This um, Ad South Australia is third most livable city in the world. Basically, it's Adelaide is the most livable city in the world, according to 2021. It's affordability compared to other states. Um, but according to, 20, uh, to 2020, uh, 2022 job forecast, there is 16,300 international education related to job forecast, actually. Exceptional winery tours. It's very popular for its winery. Plenty of jobs in health, hospitality, and tourism sectors. So if someone is um, you know, uh, worried and wondering what if they go to South Australia, what if they don't get job, definitely there would be jobs available in these sectors you just have to look for it okay the popular courses in south australia are nursing individual support information technology social community services hospitality trade courses and business management courses which is a vocational study in south australia the major providers and their scholarships are public universe um, like among public university it's university of south australia Flinders University, University of Adelaide, which falls under category two regional areas, which is in Adelaide, scholarship offered. This university has merit-based academic scholarships, can be 25 to 50% achievable by international students. TAFE South Australia, they have their bursaries and destination scholarship. Torrance University, they have academic merit scholarship of 25%, onshore transfer um, scholarship of 15%, which is confirmed for any onshore transfer student. If you have good academic um, score in your um, you know, previous CGPA or in your IELTS or PDE, you can also have it up to 25% and up to 30% on business courses. Design course has up to 20 to 30% of scholarships. IIBIT, which is also a uh, federation university also runs under IIBIT in Adelaide, they have 20 to 25 percent onshore and offshore scholarships. Kaplan Business School, they have academic excellence scholarship up to 30 percent and health work frontline scholarship is also up to 30 percent. Onshore transfer 20 percent. So health work frontline scholarship is basically if someone is working as a front frontline employee in you know uh, any health um, sectors like disability center or community service center, if they have um, their you know um, documents of their work, they can also avail these 30 percent scholarships. Apart from these, there are multiple vet providers, including Equals International, Ironwood, Durban International, Skills Australia, TAFE SA, HTS, Macallan College, etc. Scholarships offered by all these vet providers according to their ongoing bursaries and early bird discounts. Then it's Northern Territory. The entire state is a regional area. It's not just about their crocodile but also it's about their big university. CDU is one of the most popular universities in worldwide and it ranked top 20% of world's university. They have lowest unemployment rate in the country in whole Australia, popular festivals such as Darwin Festival and the Darwin Beer Can Regatta. Oh, they have also, um, you know, a bucket list destination, which is Uluru, which is such a beautiful um, uh, place. You can always go there if someone you know consider Northern Territory as their study destination. Northern Territory popular courses are computer science, IT, environmental engineering, MBA, nursing, teaching, hospitality, among the, and there are vet courses as well, which is business leadership, telecommunication, like this. <laughs> Major providers and scholarships in Northern Territory. Um, first, the um, University Charles Darwin University, which is in category three location. They have their campus in multiple locations. 
globe they have global merit scholarships which is 30 percent on first year study confirmed if you if you meet the entry requirements you will definitely get these 30 percent scholarships on your first year study in any campus of charles darwin university then they have high achievers you um, scholarships up to 50 percent and they have global excellence scholarships up to 50 percent only on first year and 10 percent following there are different vet, um, vocational study providers as well in Northern Territory, which is IH Sydney NT Campus. Their campus located in category three, and they also have their early bird and bursary scholarships. Australian City College, which is also in um, category three regional area, then Australian Career College, which is also in category three um, regional area and is offering their promotional prices. Then it's Western Australia, their major regional area is Park. Park definitely provides safe environment to international students to gain quality education. Greater Park has ranked the most affordable major capital in Australia. Park ranked number six as world's most livable city in the world. If someone still didn't go to Park, please visit before you decide. And definitely Park is a leader in science and innovation. They're very popular. If you see all the universities in Park, they are very, you know, architecturally very rich they're a very antique design and everything because they're actually a leader in science and innovation they're very innovative the popular courses in western australia is computer science engineering information technology nursing teaching social work and early childhood education the major providers and scholarships in Western Australia, they have multiple public universities, among them Marduk University, which is located in category two regional area, is offering online international scholarship of 40% fee reduction, 20% onshore international scholarships, offshore international welcome, 12,000 bursary on nursing and business courses. They, have, they also have offshore international welcome scholarship of um, 11,000 bursary for other degrees. Then Edith Kwan University, they are located in category two of regional areas. Um, they have scholars, they're offering 30% STEM scholarship for offshore online studies. They have 20% nursing course and scholarships and also 20% onshore student scholarship except nursing. Curtin University also have academic merit scholarship of 25%, 20% scholarships on their STEM courses, onshore postgraduate students and valid for only first year. And they're also located in category two regional area. Then these are the vocational um, you know, providers in Australia. Few, uh, there are lots of other providers as well. Um, Lead College, they're in category two. They have scholarship and they have almost every vocational study courses in their um, you know, course, course. They're offering everything. Um, they have ongoing bursary and early part discount. Stanley International College, they have scholarship offered. They have their promotional offer and early part discount. Then Macallan College, and Apura Institute, they have, they're very flexible and they have almost every courses like civil, civil construction and design, telecommunication and networking, um, community service, these kind of courses and um, along with all the trade courses. Then Queensland, Queensland, um, Queensland is such a big state and there their most major regional areas are Sunshine Coast, Gold Coast. Queensland capital ranked number 10th as world's most livable city 2021st. Australia, Australia's second largest state that offers beaches, reef, and rainforest. It's so beautiful. People should go to Queensland to see. Excellent healthcare system, plenty of part-time job opportunities such as healthcare and hospitality community services, manufacturing, mining, and resources, construction, and agriculture. Popular courses in um, Queensland, it's basically engineering, business, nursing, teaching, and social work. Queensland, they have um, uh, multiple um, public universities among Southern Cross University, uh, which is in Gold Coast and in category two regional campus they are, they have quite multiple scholarships offered outstanding academic scholarship which is 15000 per year diversification scholarship can be up to 8000 per year and regional scholarship can be 5000 per year then university of sunshine coast they have 15% of international student outlook scholarships offered 
they have there is also Holmes Institute in Gold Coast. They are also offering 10 to 15,000 international scholarships for international students. So that was actually all about um, all the you know regional areas and their courses, um, you know their um, if, um, popular providers and their scholarships. This is just a brief about whatever we have discussed. So category two cities and major regional centers, part Adelaide, and then um, so benefits of studying in regional areas. As I already mentioned, this definitely apart from getting a lower cost, lower living cost, a laid back lifestyle, you can also get you know, my uh, regional points for studying and living there. And then you can get three to four years of postgraduate visa followed by another one or two years. So, and these are the popular courses in regional area that I already covered. So that was uh, my um, presentation. I'm gonna stop my screen share. Thank you so much. Thank you for um, joining us for this live session. Now I'll go for any um, you know, questions that we got through our Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. You can, if you haven't um, you know, asked your question in the comment section, you can always call us, email us, or you, know, um, you can visit our office in um, all over Australia, actually. So let me check if we got questions. So I got this question, someone asked, I'm studying automotive in regional area and living in different regional area. Am I eligible for second TGV? Yes, uh, Muhammad Abdul Wasim, thank you for your question. So if you're studying automotive in regional area and living in the regional area, definitely um, you would get your um, first TGV. According to regional benefits, you will get for vocational study, you will get two, um, you know, three years of um, postgraduate visa. If you stay, if you continue to stay in, in a regional area on your TR, definitely you can apply for a second TGV. I hope I answered your question. Um, then Tony Joe um, and, um, asked a question. After complain, uh, completing master's in regional university after three years, stay back. Can we apply for another two years? Okay. Yes, Tony. Uh, yes, Tony. Um, if you complete your study, full study from a regional area and get your um, postgraduate work visa in that regional area, and if you stay back there, yes, you can apply for additional second TGP, and you can uh, you can be eligible for another two years of TGP. And I hope I answered your question, Tony. Um, I have another question. Um, oh. Okay, there is someone he actually gave us um, his number and so far we got few questions. Okay, there is another question actually. Someone asked, do we need to show money for application? Uh, in the, I'm actually not sure about um, your question. What you actually wanted to ask? If you can be more precise, it will be better for me to understand um, because what application you mean, it, it is for your, like, I'm not 100% sure about your question. If you want to ask in details, you can always call us or you can, you know, um, leave us an email. Our email address is given below. Um, and then you can all, you know, you can also come in our offices. Um, I think the, we got a few more questions, um, but I can't access them at the moment. They're through emails and um, something. So what I'm gonna do, I will note down all of your questions. I will get back to you individually by call or you know by email. If you can just um, you know knock us on our messenger, it will be easier for us to answer those questions. I can see there are lots of questions there, um, but due to time, you know, time um, limitation, I can't actually answer all of those questions. So please feel free to contact us uh, through our phone numbers, email us with your questions, call us. I would be more than happy to answer all of your queries. And if you have any migration related queries as well, there will be another session next week regarding migration studies, like uh, on a more depth migration thing. So have an eye on our, you know, all these group pages for that, and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you so much for joining with me for today. Um, I hope I could answer all of your questions. So yeah, hope to see you next. Thank you.